Hi everyone. Mary and Espresso Press Design. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me today. By the time you see this, it will be July 23rd. I'm doing this a day early because I have some things to do tomorrow. <clears throat> so today we're going to do another 12 by 12, super simple. <clears throat> I don't think I've done this in a video, but I did a flip through of one. So I'm going to um, make some modifications. And that's what we're going to do today. Super simple 12 by 12. This week's um, papers are feathers. <clears throat> and these are on Etsy and Shopify. Uh, there's colorful feathers, there's muted feathers, there's text, and it's vintage. And then I have tinctures and extracts in the collage papers section on Etsy. So there's that, those two. So you're going to need wait let me do my thank yous um thank you bobby marta sarah <clears throat> judith my voice was fine a minute ago judith thank you so much i know you are a repeat customer becky ann sue and gina <clears throat> oh, excuse me Thank you, Sue, so much for your kind reviews, and I did not mind um, making that modification for you. And I'm glad that you only asked to do it for one product, however. <laughs> so um, I'm glad you like your papers, and thank you so much for the kind reviews. So, okay. This is the project, and this time I quickly made a little book to put in there and bound it um, like we did one of our 12 by 12s. And it will go in there when we're finished. But what I did not like about it, my previous one, I bound my book inside. What I do not like about it is the cover is much heavier than the back. So I'm going to give some tips on how to uh, correct that if that bothers you too. So I, this actually came from a card design. So, you know, you won't mind it in a card, but when you want to make it into a book, it's a little different. So this is very simple, and it's going to be, be much, much better if you work with a non-directional both sides. Because... If you work with a directional, your back will be upside down and your front pocket will be upside down. Unless you figure out a way to turn your paper so that doesn't happen. So I didn't feel like messing around with should I put it horizontal or whatever. So I just chose non-directional double-sided. So very simple. We are just going to score at six. I hope this looks even. It's not looking even, even though I measured it. Maybe it's just an illusion. We'll soon find out here when we fold it. Make a quarter turn. Oops, didn't want to do that. 
and score again at six. Just going to redo that a little bit. Okay, so then you're left with four squares basically. And let me move this. And then I'm just going to make sure this is okay. It's six by six. Must have just been the way it looked. Don't need that. I love this paper. Is that one a little off? Yes, it is. Let me get that. Better. Okay, so I want my flowers on the front. Okay, I'm just checking, make sure how that's going to go. And we're only going to make one cut from here to the center of our score line. Our crosshair center, basically. Get this up here so I can try to get a perfectly straight cut. And then, that's our only cut. So then we are going to fold this one up almost to the score line. You don't want to, um, you know, create any resistance. That one goes up almost to the score line. And this one comes down to about two inches from the fold. I'm going to glue this down. So then you are left with this. This one comes over first. This one goes up. And this one goes back. And there's your book. Okay, isn't that simple? So let me undo this. And I'm going to glue this. And then I'm going to give you the Three ideas to deal with this back, thinner back page issue. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to choose. Okay, then we're going to put that one over. If you want to glue this little edge, you can, but I'm keeping mine open. And then we're going to want to glue here. 
inside the or you can glue here <laughs> here I mean just want to make sure we keep that down and then fold the back over so I'm going to show you I'm keeping that part open just because it's easier to slide things in and out and then you have two pockets And then there is your book. You can bind it in there or you can glue here and here, make that a pocket. And tuck your book inside like so. You can glue here and here and make that a top pocket. Tuck your book inside like so. You can put your book in here. I might do or you can that's my mother-in-law I always forget it's Monday or you can here's a little prototype you can fold this over Make another pocket in the back and put your book in there. And then you just have the thinnest piece in the center. Or you can do what I did kind of here. This leaf is so fragile I didn't want to take it out. Put a larger pocket that's uh, three quarters or begin it the pocket over here and you slip in here so that most of the page is covered or you could add another panel and glue it onto this page. So that's how many ways? <laughs> Pockets, um, fold over, glue another pocket. That's four ways. Four ways you can alter this book to make that back page a little stronger. So I think I do like making a separate book and then finding a way to <coughs> put them in there like I did <coughs> this one rather than trying to bind the book in there. It just seems to work better. That way you still have your little journal and you also have a homemade cover. So where are we? 15? <clears throat> I hope everything's okay up there. I hear him. 
I don't know if he's talking to his mom or the nurse. Hopefully they're both there <laughs> and nothing's wrong. Sorry, I should explain. She's in a nursing home and every Monday we do a video call at 10 o'clock U.S. time. So, okay everyone, I know this is short and sweet, but this this is simple and I I really love square books but this is just a little flimsy and it has to be adjusted some way and I don't quite know which one I'm going to choose yet so I'm just going to leave it as is and oh by the way this is be this is about five and three quarters well, actually, it's five and a quarter by five and a half because I had to trim my edges and things like that. So make sure you make your book smaller. But this, even this is smaller, five and a half by five and a half. So you really want to go that size to fit your cards and everything in there. And then you have two pockets, and of course you can decorate this however you desire. I do have a flip through of this, of one I made, but I really don't think I actually did a tutorial of it. So, okay, that was short and sweet, and I hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!